Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, how to browse, in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix crashing, um, also if your game is freezing or you also have problems related to, to the game being stuck or uh, just black screen and it's very annoying, you just want to play the game, try this game and or just try this game, play maybe with your friends, I don't know, but it's very annoying, that's something that I know 400%, it's very annoying when this occurs to me as well, and that's what I want to help you um, and fix this, okay, fix this, because uh, we both know how frustrating this is, so I hope at the end of this video, my, help, my video helped you, that's my mission here, that's my goal, that's why I created this YouTube channel, to help you uh fix this uh problems and uh, now let's jump right to the method number one i have here list some of the methods that help me fix the the problems now disclaimer i can't guarantee you this 100 percent will work but i'm just giving you some of the solutions i learned throughout the years throughout the time i had problems and i tried to fix them and I gained some experience, but now I can't guarantee you this will work, but I just want to be honest with you. So I'm just sharing you some, I'm sharing with you some methods and some of them might work, might not work. I can't guarantee you. So I hope guys, this is just going to help you. So now let's start right th this video without wasting any second, because I know your time is valuable. So the first method, a lot of people overlook this uh, method is just to update their windows. Click here, download, uh, download here and install the latest update. Click also on check updates. And also go to advanced options and then go to optional updates and then go to driver updates. When I bought this laptop, I'm now I'm using this laptop. Uh, there were a lot of updates available, like a tons of updates. Just make sure you also check if there's any driver updates, uh, driver available here, and click on download and install. Okay, that's uh, that's very important. You can also go to device manager and click on. Um, uh, display adapters and from here you can click on um, click on right click update driver browse let me pick and select your driver and you click on next and from there you'll be able to update okay make sure you're doing this and now the next uh, uh, the next um, the next method you need to go to direct uh, X end time user this is pretty important if you don't have this installed on your computer if you have this you can skip this part and here you can just click on download it's pretty easy and uh, it's pretty much just uh, next next is gonna install for you in this uh, this file on your computer and uh, Okay, and the next uh, the next thing you have to install is Microsoft Visual C++ and just click on here and uh, just install. Okay, click on this, download the file, and just install. Very easy. Now, if you are if you are a Nvidia user, make sure you click on download this um, this automatic driver updates the GeForce drivers. It's a very valuable um, it's a very va valuable tool. Uh, because this can identify and, and look through your entire computer and in, in your entire computer if there's any uh, drivers that are not up to date and this will uh, update your computer so in the end all the drivers in your computer will be up to date so make sure you click on download now and also if you're an MD user uh, click on download now and this will detect if there's any uh, drivers available on your computer and that are not up to date so it's a pretty good tool i'll leave all the links in the description of this video so it's gonna help you and um, now the next step uh, let's go and here in the search bar write cmd click on run as administrator click on next and here make sure you write uh, this command 
Try and broil it right now. Okay. This is the command you have to write this. Very, very easy. Click on enter, I already done this. So, but just click on enter and let's move now to the next uh, method. Okay, so what you have to do here is to head over to uh, Atomic Heart, you right click on the game, you select properties and then here local files. You click on verify integrity of software files, it's gonna take some time and then after you um, after you've done this, make sure you click on browse and then here in browse, click on atomic habit, uh, sorry, sorry, atomic um, heart game and select properties and here in compatibility, make sure you select, you check display full screen optimization and you also check run this program as administrator, okay? And click on apply and okay. Make sure you're doing this. And now the next, uh, the next, uh, the next step is to just close all the apps that are running in the background when you open Atomic uh, Heart, okay? So make sure you close um, all the apps that are running in the background when you open Atomic Heart, okay? That's very important, very simple, but it's very important, and also. Um, if uh, that didn't work or even if it worked uh, or even if now the game runs properly after you have done all the methods I'll show you in this video also make sure you restart your computer and restart your router okay and uh, that's pretty much it guys I hope this video helped you I hope this video provides you with some good knowledge and solutions to fix this problem. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe for uh, daily tutorials, okay? I really appreciate it and it will really help a lot this channel. Thank you and uh, take care.